Hello everybody. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic myself. Really, really excited to be here with you guys to do another project. Now, if you've been here before, then you know how I do things. If not, let me have a minute to explain. I use a number generator to choose my colors for my projects. I have numbered all of my colors, my pigment paste, pigment powders, alcohol inks, India inks, paste, so forth. I have numbered them all. And to date, I'm at 538 different colors. And that doesn't include my glitters and embellishments and stuff like that, just the colors. Now what I do is I enter the parameters of 1 through 538 and I'll hit generate. I do this four times for four different numbers to get four different colors. Now I have to use those colors that are generated. I can add any additional colors that I want and I can add the embellishments that I want and pick the project. I just have to use the colors that are generated. Why you ask? Well, I did it, came up with this because I'm indecisive. I can't make a choice. I cannot decide colors for projects. And I was always just coming up with the same old, same old, nothing that was very exciting. You know, it was just no zest, no pow, no bam. I just needed something a little better. And I found it by using this number generating system. And I really hope that it helps you if you're stuck like I am at times. You know, either with my color combinations or maybe coming up with your own number generating number system. I don't know. Anything that I can help to contribute is very, very awesome. And I'm glad to be of assistance. <laughs> so, without, oh, 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 one more thing. Now, I can call a mulligan. And a mulligan would be if one or more of the colors that were generated that I have to use it just will not work. They're not going to be able to have anything added to it, nothing mixed with it to make it work with the rest of the colors. So then I will call a mulligan. I'll pull that color, sometimes it's more than one color, and I'll generate another color to replace it. That's, you know, one of the big important things I forgot to tell you. I'm sorry, I had total brain block right then. Yes, so I have to use the colors that are generated if one or more or they're just not going to work no matter what I add to it or mix with it, then I'll call a mulligan on it. All right. I think I've explained everything. Let's go ahead and generate some numbers. Put in the parameters, 538. All right. Generate. 254 is our first number. Next, 194. Third, 476. And our final generated number, 54. All right, 254, 194, 476, 54. Can I get a four, please? <laughs> so now I will pull these. I'll put you on hold, then I'll go pull these, figure out what project we're going to do, see if I want to add anything to it, and mix up some resin. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm coming right back to you. I was rolling, man. I was rolling. 254 is Peacock Blue Resin Dye from Let's Resin. 194 is, believe it or not, Monsoon from Ranger. It's an alcohol ink. Then I got a 476. This is Shuba Shibuya, Shibuya <laughs> Orange from Eye Candy. And then I have Green Envy from Black Diamond, number 54. This orange really puts a wrench in my fan. So I'm going to generate something different. And I'm just going to let y'all hang here with me while I do it. Generate. 73. Let's see what that is. Sometimes this is what you have to do is just pick and choose. And pink pearl is not any better. So, because this is really a guide, you know. This is giving me direction, believe it or not. I'm not cheating. I'm just utilizing it differently. <laughs> Alright, 351. Man, this be Now we're getting away from the blues completely. That is red rose. Perfect time of year for a red rose, but all right. What else? 228. That might be better for us. Oh, no, it's not. Ugh. But it is getting us into the pinks. Could do that. Okay, 
to do that. See what happens with that. See if I want to add something to it. Let me generate another one. See what that one says. 457. 457 would be. Um, where is it? Where is it? 457. Oh, that's no help. That's purple. That's not going to do anything. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can do something with these guys. Alright, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I got everything for our party. Um, we're going to do this cool contraption. It's a uh, candle holder. So it's a three level. Put this in there. Or no, like this. And then you'll put a candle on here. Can you see this? And then you do a candle down here. And then you do a candle here. So it's a three candle holder. Pretty cool, huh? I thought it was. So that's what we're going to make. And we're going to use all these beautiful pinks and oranges and pearl petal. Not pearl. Petal. That's the name of this color. So let me go over our colors. Uh, first we have uh, 476, which is going to be... Let me look at the back. It's way easier. 476 is Shibuya orange. Then we have 228. That is Petal by Pixis. It's an alcohol link. Then 73 is Pink Pearl by Black Diamond, a pigment powder. Then 351 is Red Rose from Eye Candy, another pigment powder. I have chosen Ghost Red Pearl from Black Diamond, another pigment powder. My thinking is, what if I mix these two with this white? Will that give me along the lines of something like this? Fingers crossed. I also pulled this, maybe I'll use it, it's Pink Gold from Pearl X, number 279. Very pretty. And then I have this Champagne Gold Mixology Glitter from Let's Resin. I just think, I don't know, I thought it looked really good when I looked over and saw it. I was like, I think that would go nicely. So we're going to see, we're going to see what's going in and what's not. Let's get started by mixing our micas. These three are going in one. So, what I like to do is put in my powder and then a little bit of resin. Mix that up. I have to get these bags open so y'all bear with me for just a second. Just deal with it. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. If you don't mind, just hang on. I don't know where that came from. Just deal with it. There we go. Smidge of this, smidge of that. Uh-oh. Let me do something real quick. I'm trying to get better at this, guys. My gloves. I'm trying. I mean, if I wore gloves with everything I was doing all day, I might as well just wear gloves and not have skin. No, oh, I just ripped this stupid glove. All right. Some of these are little bears to get open. All right, we'll go a little bit of, what I call this? Goat's red pearl. I was like midway saying that and debating if I was gonna drop it or not. Okay. Yeah, I went looking for a, um, a white or a ghost of some sort and I saw the red I was like oh perfect hopefully I thought we just put that much in there maybe there's a little more we will see what has to be added to get a good color let's go ahead and do that real quick Um, by the way, I mixed up 14 ounces of my resin of choice, which is Clear Cast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's VOC free. It's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. That's by volume. It cures crystal clear. Another footnote. It's budget friendly. I'm just saying. 
You know, nowadays, and I mean, it's great quality. It's not like you're giving up quality for a price. Shop around, my friends. Shop around. You might just think you're using the best, but you haven't tried all of the rest. So, my opinion. And I'm telling you that from the bottom of my heart, out of the goodness of my heart. They don't owe me, and I don't owe them. You know what I mean? All right, this is very orange, so we're going in with some more red. I should have held up on the red, I mean orange, so. And this might require a lot of finagling. But we'll get there. We will get a color that we like, won't we? Or one that we're going to deal with. Mm -hmm. If I can get it out of the bag. That's, I mean, it's hard dealing with the sample pack sometimes, true, but. They're so much easier for me to store. I can have 538 different colors as far as space goes. And, you know, I mean, let's face it. How often am I going to use Shibuya orange? I mean, really? I don't need a whole jar of that. I need more popular colors. Sure. Look, I think we're getting something beautiful. What do you think? How do you like me now? I like it. And get nice with the pink pearl, won't it? Very nice. Not this orange and not red. Just nicely in between. I like it. I like it. Okay. Clean that up real quick. Pretend you don't see me doing it. Okay. Now let's mix up this one. Pink pearl. Looks more on the peach side to me, but. I mean, really, how many times am I going to use pink pearl? Only if it's generated. It's not like I would go to it to pick it out to use it. I mean, I know there's some people that there's colors out there that they would use this a lot for different projects. And the colors that I need a lot of, I will buy the big bottles. But the samples do me just fine. My point being, if you know you're saving up to get colors or what have you, consider just getting the big sample packs. What I do, and I love them. Surprised that's warm already. Go ahead and split this up in some cups. It is quite warm already. Put that over there, that clear. Alright. Some of that. What other color? Oh, petal. That. Glitter. And petal. I just put it on the resin curing plate for a minute. And that's how quick it's... Because, um, you know, when you heat it up, you take away from your working time. Which normally is pretty cool. A couple of times I've had to put a little pep in my step quicker than I wanted to, but it also helps take some of that time away that it takes to cure. And you know, some projects that you're working together, you don't want all the colors that fluid, so they'll kind of separate from each other a little bit. It just works. So, I should be good. It should be fine. I'll put this in here. Take this one for the petal. Put this in here. Now let's mix up our petal. I just squirt it, y'all. Going drop by drop takes too long. Especially when you're working with alcohol inks that just are weak. Phew. I mean, I haven't found an alcohol ink yet that I like.
And I prefer working with the micas because the alcohol inks are so light. And look. And that's better than normal. Normally, I put when I do that, you can't see anything, which you barely can see anything. Let's just do another squirt or two. There we go. All right, so I think our colors are going to look fab together. Is this the color we made? It is, isn't it? Yeah, because that's pink pearl. So what do y'all think? I think we did good on our color, didn't we? Yeah. These colors go great together. All right, let's put in our little bit of glitter. Love the glitter. Uh oh I thought I took all these off so when I got them, but evidently I didn't. I tried to, so I'm not doing this in the middle of our video. But it happens. It happens. Yeah, that'll look very nice. And uh, just that color it's got in there. Just looks very, very perfect with these. All right, let's go. So how should we do this? around the outside no really no rhyme or reason right Let's go with it make it look cool blend those colors nicely Okay. I hope I have enough resin. I'm afraid my orange is overpowering the pretty pearl. color looks nice, doesn't it? A lot better than normal. Uh-oh. Uh, I gotta fix that. Oh, wait a minute. No, I gotta go over that, don't I? Yeah, I gotta go over that. Right? Yeah, because that's going to be upside down. Isn't it? Yeah, i got to go over that. Do I go over this one? Oh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm trying to think, and I can't think because I just don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out, I guess. There's UV resin or a um, razor knife to fix it, right? Definitely gonna have to use that clear resin that I made up though, or that I have over there. I thought I was gonna be able to use it in another project, but that does not appear to be happening. Are y'all yelling at me saying you're not supposed to cover it? I just do not know, guys. I'm going with my gut. My gut says cover it because why would it be so thick 
if that wasn't supposed to be covered, you know, the sides. This one I'm a little, I'm thinking no, because these aren't covered. So I'm thinking this one isn't covered either. I don't think I'm even gonna have enough resin even with that extra clear. So what would I make, more petal? I think I'll make more petal, the alcohol ink. So the glitter in here. It's just really pretty glitter. Very pretty. I saw um, Tish from Naptime Creations using them. And I think I saw other artists using them, but I saw her specific channel or uh, video talking about them. I was like, man, they are really pretty. I'm going to try them. And I went on Amazon and I ordered them. And they are that pretty and I'm really glad I did so I highly recommend them and I say thanks Tish if you're out there watching my channel by chance all right let's mix up some more of this petal alcohol inks get the more they stink because this one is phew it is stinky lewinky oh my goodness and I don't recall it being that stinky lewinky this is the part I'm more most concerned about because it's got to fit down into those dumaflaches really good so it can't be too full and it can't be too skimpy. It's got to be perfect. We are aiming for perfect. I mean, we're always aiming for perfect, but you know what I mean. So this is going to take all of the 14 ounces I mixed up because I need that little bit that I just set over here. We will make more petal. And maybe I'll put a little more glitter in there. How about that? No, no more glitter. I think we have just enough. and I do not want to have a bit over the top because I don't want the pieces not to fit. So I have, look, it's just shy of 14 ounces. Okay, now we just need two, let's see if I can get the little one to work. I hear it coming out, but no flame. So, really, I liked that one. It didn't last any time, though. We got lots of bubbles so quickly and efficiently don't forget you got that part right under the resin and it will burn slam up we 
Wow, this is kind of like the colors I think I imagined. I think, I don't know. But I think they're really pretty together. I like them, our colors generated are good. I can only imagine what it's gonna look like when it's cured. Yay. All right, gang. Well, I'm gonna check it in another 10 minutes and any other bubbles that have popped up, I will get them. You know what I am gonna do real quick? Show you and then I'll finish up myself around the outside to dislodge any bubbles that may be hanging on to the side and do it gently so you don't distort everything or overflow your piece so that's what i'm going to do all right guys i will see you guys in a while but for you it'll be just a moment hang tight hey everybody i'm back I got our cured pieces. Now let's take them out of the mold and put this bad boy together. It dried nicely and tape was pretty dry. I went and came out and put it on the resin curing plate to make sure it was finished. Nice. Not as pretty as this side. That glitter floats. It doesn't sink, that's for sure. Maybe put that on first and then your colors. Very pretty. Let's see. Go this way. Oh, this way. It's nice and snug down in there. Check out these pieces. Oh, we can do the glitter side up here. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. I didn't overfill you. There we go. This is very cool, y'all. I just have to say, it's very cool. A little jerky, but that's because it's tight, so it doesn't fall out. Oh, shit. Oh. I didn't say that. wedge it down on one side. There we go. Yay! Now, oh, I forgot to grab the candles. Let me grab the candles. Oh my goodness, it's piled under everything. As soon as I pick it up, it's going to, everything's going to fall. And I have stuff stacked on this box because it's a box I don't get into very often, but I need it. Okay, let's see. Here we go. One, two, and three. I'm gonna turn this big light out. And how about, um, oh, shucks. There, I just turned them all out. I know you can't see on that angle, so I'm going to angle it this way. Oops. There you go. I'll angle it this way. Put the candles on there and use your imagination. Candles are on there. Oh. You'll see the pictures. Let me turn the lights back on. So you can see it. It's beautiful. I think we did a good job, guys. What do you think? Think it turned out nice? I think it did. I really wish this side was on the other side. And I can't do that because of the candle cutout. So, that's okay. That's okay. We will just go with this side. It's beautiful. Alright, gang. If you think I did a good job and you'd like our color combination maybe you consider giving me a thumbs up while you're there hit the subscription subscribe button down in the right hand corner now you can hit subscribe and that's an immediate subscription to my channel doesn't cost you a thing but it sure helps me out it's all about the algorithm the algorithm likes likes subscribes uh sign up for notifications 
as well as watching multiple vehicle vehicles. I do that every time. Multiple videos of mine back to back. So if you don't mind helping the algorithm along, help me out, help my channel out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Couple things of business. Don't forget I have the giveaway going on for subscribers. All the details are down in the description. I also have uh, get an honorary color and your name on my channel. All the details are down in the description. I already have a couple of honorary colors for a couple of my angels who made a PayPal donation to support my channel. It's so appreciated. If you don't mind, read the details and maybe you two can have a color in your name on my channel. If you'd like, it's pretty cool. Gonna have a contest with it. All right, gang, I appreciate you being here. Till next time, bye.